<laughs> We're getting into talking about Super Mario stuff here, so we just finished talking about Bowsette. Raider started talking about Daisy. Why do people hate Daisy? I like Daisy. I like Daisy. <laughs> Simple as that. I like Daisy. It's she's a different princess in the like a Super Mario world. What's that to like about her? And like, and like she she, she like. How, how do you put it? She she like wants to show off. Yeah. It's like, like uh, she has no problem wanting to get into a fight almost. Or wanting to show off in general like that. It, like, But like um, in Super Mario Strikers, where everyone will, you know, wears different outfits. They mm -hmm. wear like the sports gear and stuff. Yeah. One of, her, one of her animations when she, I think, either wins or scores a goal is... Uh, I think she kisses her finger and then like pretty much pokes her butt. Saying as if kiss my butt, like you know, like I did better than you or something. <laughs> like, that's pretty like, funny. Like, oh that's, yeah, I'm hot. <laughs> that too. That's funny. Like, um, you, you're never gonna get that from yeah. Peach. A Peach had like no emotion. Like I find it funny how <laughs> fans for some reason don't like Daisy, and then fans love Luigi, but like Nintendo loves Daisy, but Nintendo isn't a big fan of Luigi. Yeah, because, uh, like I said, I, I like Daisy. Mm -hmm. I don't know why everyone hates her. Me neither. I don't like Peach. <laughs> I, under um, I understand yeah. why she's there, because she's, like, she's the like first. The, yeah, she's the first original princess in Super yeah. Mario Brothers. But, um, but yeah, she, she, like, never shows any emotion or anything. Even in the latest videos for uh, parental control uh, for the Switch... She's she's playing online with Bobby Jr. And the only only facial expressions you get from her is her basically blinking. Really? Like her eyes closed to show like I'm happy, you know, but like it's that's just like the top of her face. That's weird. Like she doesn't have like any cheeks or anything moving. Her mouth doesn't like show her teeth or anything. That's kind of strange. And it just looks wrong. It looks like a Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny like I remember seeing from uh, Game Theory uh, they did a video of like um, I, I can't remember what it was called like Mario how Mario is not really a hero or something like that and like one of the things yeah that, he, he like kills the toads and stuff or stuff like that yeah. yeah but like one of the things I remember one of the things he brought up in one of their videos that I watched that I loved was like how Mario mistreats Luigi and I, I, I'm not yeah. saying, yeah, yeah, I'm not I, saying I loved it, but how they pointed it, from them. <laughs> yeah, how, how they pointed out how Mario was such a dick to Luigi, his own brother. You know, like I remember, he, I, I didn't know this. I remember they pointed out in that video that apparently when you play as Mario in the Mar in one, of the, I think it was one of the newest Mario Tennis. I mean, not Mario, right. Luigi. When you play as Luigi in one of the newest Mario I Tennis think games, it was, uh, either a Mario Golf or Mario Tennis. But like, yeah, when Luigi wins. Mario comes in clapping for him, cheering, like, you know, as a, applauding him. It looks like he, a very sarcastic clap, too. Yeah, it looks a very, like, it's very much sarcastic clap, like, <laughs> and, like... Like, hey, way to go. And then, like... You did it. And then Mario <laughs> en ends up stepping on Luigi's foot yeah, and no, grinding his first, foot in it. First, he pats Luigi Oh, the yeah, yeah. And then the last one is, like, a hard pat. Yeah, it's a... Ugh, like all hard like on the back and then he <laughs> like where'd it go <laughs> and then he ends up stepping on Luigi's foot grinding his foot in it he's just laughing in his face about it and Luigi recognizes it and Mario recognizes it and Mario keeps doing it yeah he keeps doing he it he doesn't even move his foot yeah and Mario is just laughing about it that he's still doing it <laughs> and Luigi's all what the heck and Luigi's moment's completely ruined <laughs> You know, it's like, what the hell is Mario's deal with Luigi? Like, hey, look, hey, look what happened completely on accident. I'm going to keep on doing this. It's like, yeah, it's like, it's almost like <laughs> Mario is has been so much in the spotlight that if someone else takes it, that's like, just like him, like Luigi, he hates it. You know, <laughs> like, and Luigi is supposed to be like technically better than Mario because he's quicker, he's taller. Yeah, uh, you know, like, I think he could... Uh, jump higher yeah he could jump higher stuff like that and then he has a flutter effect like yoshi yeah so it's like it's kind of funny like i'm wondering like it's like i don't, I don't know if it's hatred 
or jealousy that, that Nintendo secretly did for Mario against Luigi that like it's like what the hell like why yeah, do you hate back to Daisy. yeah why do you why do you guys like why does Nintendo like disrespect Luigi and why do fans hate Daisy but uh but uh, yeah Luigi has his Luigi Mansion game yeah like, they, they came out with the one on the GameCube mm-hmm. they came out with the second one on the DS but some people are I kind of torn on yeah I never played the second one but I remember the first one and I actually enjoyed the first one. It was good. Uh, I I played some of the first one. I never actually, you know, like sat down and played through it. Yeah. I never played the second one. And then they they recently just announced they're making a third one for the Switch. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, but uh, another another thing I've always wondered with Daisy and the Luigi, Daisy and the Luigi. <laughs> But, um, why don't they just do any Super Luigi games with Daisy in it and just Luigi? Yeah, he might as well. I mean, why not? Like, you know, isn't that his, like, his princess, basically? Uh, kind of. Uh, D- Daisy's first game was a Mario game. Ah, Mario City. I forgot about that. Yeah. So, yeah. and that kind of showed that Daisy has her own kingdom. Yeah. It's like, why is it, why is it only, well... I don't know why I'm saying this. I was like, I was about to say, why is Bowser only going after Peach's kingdom? <laughs> but then I realized, oh no, Bowser only goes for his her kingdom because Bowser's in love with Peach. That's why. Pretty much. Yeah, and like you know, it's why Pete. It's why Daisy's kingdom is completely peaceful. Like you know, <laughs> like no in like invasions whatsoever. And she just kicks it. At yeah, she just kicks it at the Mushroom Kingdom and seeing all this chaos going on instead of staying home. Well, like it's all peaceful. It's, that's pretty funny to think about. Like she's just kicking it with Luigi. Looks out the window and she <laughs> Bowser's giant <right> warrior. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, hey, check it out. <laughs> so, he's just getting kidnapped again. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to tell Mario? Or it's like, or it's a funny like, picture of making a bet or something. Like, hey, you owe me five bucks. You know, Bowser's back. <laughs> but, uh. um, but like, even in the, uh, Paper Mario, I, I, it's such a long title. I can never get it right. I think Thousand, Thousand Year Door, for the, it was for the GameCube. Mm. That Lu- Luigi pops up every now and then. Yeah. You, you, you can never play as him. But he pops up every now and then, and that he has his own like journal going that that grows through the game that you could like read like his own story, and he's talking about how he go how he's going on his own adventure to save this other princess. Hmm. And, but it, it, it's some other princess, that, and I'm just thinking, why isn't this Daisy? Why are we getting a game over this? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. But um. But uh, another point by Daisy, again, I like Daisy. Many people don't like Daisy. And then they came out with Rosalina. Yeah, I feel like Rosalina kind of came out of nowhere. And Rosalina did have her own story, you know, with the Mario Galaxy. I never I never followed Mario Galaxy, so I have no idea. But I remember hearing Rosalina came from it. And the first Mario Galaxy, she has her Wait, own... Wait, they made a second one? They made two Mario Galaxies. I didn't know that. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't follow that much of Nintendo, <laughs> but I, I have general ideas. Peter, get it in the know. <laughs> I don't play Nintendo that much. Right? <laughs> but uh, in in the first Mario Galaxy, she has her own like story. Okay. Like a sto- like she a, a book, like she's reading a, a story to okay. the little stars. Yeah, the little, little star characters. Those little star characters are pretty funny. And uh, that. She, she's basically like their princess, their queen. She takes care of them. And uh, she, uh, part of a video game thing that I th- I think is very solid is that Rosalina is Peach's daughter from another uh, basically universe. Hmm. That basically the, there was a universe where Luigi and Peach got together. And they had the Rosalina. And at some point, this universe, you know, dies out, basically. And it it got reborn. And basically, so Rosalina sees Peach. Peach is on Earth. But it's kind of more Mario and Peach now. Instead of Luigi and Peach. Hmm. That's that's pretty interesting. I, I I gotta check that out. 
Yeah, it's a cool video. I, yeah. I really like it. Yeah, I gotta check that out. But, um... I recommend you guys check out Game Theory. And what was the other one? <laughs> Game Explain? Game Explain? Is that what it's called? Game Explain just... Kind of just that they explain games. All right, like I, I like, I like, I, I like game theory. Game theory is pretty, pretty funny, and, yeah. and it's great. You know, they do a lot of great work on that. But um, uh, so Rosalina is based on that saying that Rosalina is the daughter of Peach. Mm -hmm. Rosalina looks very much like Peach, to where she could easily be passed as a Peach clone. <laughs> you know, she just looks like she has a nightgown. And a wand sometimes, and she had her blonde, blonde pinkish hair. I can't tell sometimes. But people love her. Uh, Rose, uh, Rosalina has uh, blonde hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She kind of has like a bleached blonde hair. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But people love her, insanely love her as a character. And it's like, why? She's almost like a peach clone. Yeah, I can see that. And it's like, I don't know, yeah. Fan and you hate Daisy? Like, why? Yeah, fans, fans have, like, I mean, I can see at some points people see Rosalina looking a little different compared to compared to Peach. But, like, and but I could see how Daisy looks a lot more similar to Peach just because of the different hair color, different dress color. Um, yeah, but, but I mean, it's, I could, she's on Earth, basically. Yeah, you know, I could see, how though, Princess how... Princesses kind of Yeah, look. I could see, though, how Rosalina... Has a lot of features looking resembling to Peach, mm -hmm. but I think Rosalina's taller, isn't she? Uh, yeah. Yeah, she's uh, more stretched even, out. Matt Ma Pack um, even covers that. He yeah. says, you know, Peach is taller than Mario. Luigi's taller than Mario. It kind of makes sense for Rosalina to be tall. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's it's, it's very interesting. Um, but but uh, yeah. Then again, the whole Bowsette thing. Going back to Bowsette now. <laughs> People make this new female princess character, and people love her. And, but people hate Daisy. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it just it makes no sense. Yeah, I feel like at times fans don't know what they want. It's just anywhere. <laughs> fans don't know what it's, they it's, want, it's, or when they get something better, they kind of hate it or dislike it. It's like it bounces around, like. Yeah, but it's but it's like. Um, what was I gonna say? You can never please the fan. You can never please fans. Yeah, everyone's covered that. Even if you want to deny it, you know it's you mm -hmm. know it's true. And you you could see that and just still not do anything. It's just it's just something that's just always going to exist. Yeah. <laughs> but but um. But yeah, Daisy has like a completely different personality than Peach. Mm -hmm. She actually she, shows personality. Yeah, she seems she seems more tomboyish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then like um, she has her yellow dress. She seems like a flower princess. Yeah, uh, I, mean, I think she. Not, I think not, she has not just because her name, but she has like flower design. Yeah, on her yeah. Dress I too. think I think she has like a little diamond thing that has a flower around yeah. it or something like. And then uh, her dress man, her dress the sleeves usually just go to the shoulder. Mm -hmm. She usually shows her arms and just wears gloves. Yeah. So, I mean, you, she doesn't really look, I, I wouldn't say she looks like Peach as much as yeah. people would claim she does. Yeah, I could see how it's, people it's, try to. It's, it's kind of like taking Cinderella and comparing her to Belle. Yeah. Like easy, I, easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could see how fans will try to point out that there's similarities, but they're also, like, there's also points where they're not similar. Yeah. So... Yeah, like I said, I'm a fan of... I, I like Daisy. Uh, I, it's not like I hate her or dislike the character. I'm a fan. Like, I'm, I'm not a huge fan. I'm a fan. I, I don't hate her. But I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. um, I, don't, I, I don't know why people don't like her, but that's their opinion. You know, it's everyone, everyone's own different opinion. You know, bottom line. But, yeah, I like Daisy. Yeah, like, um, but... But, like... Another thing is Waluigi. Everyone's trying to love Waluigi for some reason. I like. I feel like I feel like at this point this is where I should end the video because as soon as you talk about Waluigi, <laughs> I'm just like no. But no. He, he, like if you you want to call Daisy just a clone of Peach, Waluigi's worse. Yeah, Waluigi. He's I like don't... a fusion of two Mario clones. 
you know, Luigi and Mario. Yeah. And then he doesn't even have his own game. Yeah, like, and... Ah, it's so weird. Like, it, it, how are people liking Luigi all of a sudden? Yeah, he's only ever a play, appeared in any sports or party or cart games. Mm. That's that's it. That's all he's ever been a part yeah. of. And Daisy mm-hmm. doesn't have a whole lot either, but she's actually been the princess in, in yeah. a Mario game. Yeah. So, so, so there's at least that. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so even like when she was announced in, to be in Super Smash Brothers, you know about that? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people weren't happy with it. Yeah, it's weird. Fan, like, <laughs> like I said, fans don't know what they want. And I feel like when people start getting... Uh, I feel like... Let's say if they end up bringing in Waluigi Super Smash Brothers, Like, what's going to happen after that? Fans are all of a sudden going to start disliking Waluigi because they don't like the moveset for him or something? They're going to want... Like, they're going to they're gonna want Koopas and Super Smash Brothers Or Shy Guys. <laughs> it's like, why? Like, <laughs> like though, those are like characters that Mario and Luigi could easily get rid of, but you guys want to make them... Fighting characters, you make uh, like it's just like stuff like that. It's so <laughs> dumb. Like, I, I'm not, a, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of Waluigi. I think Waluigi is a poor character design, or he's just a poor idea. Like Wario was one thing. Wario mm-hmm. was one thing. Like he, and then especially they gave him his own game. You yeah, know? like the, all the Mario characters for Super Smash Bros. You got Mario, the main character. Mm-hmm. Luigi, the secondary main character. Yeah. Even in the original Mario games, he was the second player's. Yeah, second player. Character. Yeah. Then Luigi also had his own games now. Mm-hmm. And then you have Peach, basically the main. The, the main goal. Yeah, the I main guess, goal, or like princess. You know, the princess. They end up coming out with Yoshi, and then they gave Yoshi his own yeah, things. Like, he, yeah, he's like. Well, one Yoshi has his own games. Yeah, yeah. And then two, he's also. Uh, a key co- key component basically in Mario games. Yeah. And then uh, you got Bowser, the ba- the bad guy. Yeah, the villain. You got Bowser Jr., who's kind of like who's kind of a temporary bad guy, but Bowser Jr. has also been the focus of a game. Mm-hmm. So Mario Sunshine, he he was like the main bad guy kind of throughout I the game. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. It it wasn't until like the end I think they actually showed Bowser. Yeah. And then they have the Koopalings, who are skins for Bowser Jr., who are like the original minions for Bowser. Yeah. And then they have Wario, who first appeared in Mario games as an enemy, but then, but since then, Wario has also got his own games. And then they have Rosalina, who's you know who's been a key role in her games, the Mario Galaxy games. So yeah. it's like I get that, but the. One thing I'm mad about is that they they put in Rosalina and Daisy's not in that group. I can't imagine that group of characters without Daisy because that's like the main Mario group. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then then like two. Daisy technically, like I said, been pointing out, has her own game that came out before Mario Galaxy games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she's older than Rosalina as a character. And they put Rosalina in first. Yeah. Even even after the Mario Galaxy games came out, a, a good while after the Mario Galaxy games come out, they stopped throwing Daisy. Hmm. In like any advertisements, it was Peach and Rosalina. That's. I don't want to say it's unfair. <laughs> that's kind of messed up. It's kind of like Rosalina was kind of replaced Daisy. Program. Yeah, like that's that's kind of that's also kind of funny. And visually, it looks stupid because they're both wearing pink. They're both blonde. <laughs> uh, it's funny. It's funny. Uh, Nintendo N- N- Nintendo loves blondes. <laughs> I mean, Samus, got, Samus is blonde. Yeah. <laughs> Samus is awesome. Uh, <laughs> Link's blonde. <laughs> so, sometimes Zelda's blonde. Yeah, sometimes Zelda's blonde. Yeah, that's true. Nintendo loves blondes, but <laughs> they don't like... There's no other brunette female characters, is there? 
brunette? Yeah. Br what color is like a brunette? Brown. Black? No, brown. A brown? Yeah. Uh, what, that's the, that's what, Daisy's hair Daisy's color. Daisy's like brown. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. There's no other there's no other brunette, brown hair colored female characters. Uh, and... Pauline from uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong has black hair. Oh, uh, yeah. But, I mean, she she's a monkey, though. That's totally different. <laughs> uh, she, they, they have her in a Mario Odyssey. They do? Yeah. What? She's like actually human size, so it's kind of confusing. It's kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> so Mario's like up to her waist. It looks weird. Uh, that's weird. <laughs> um, Toadette has pink hair, I guess. Yeah. Like pink, like a dark pink. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's like a dark or it's just like a pink hair color, and then she has them in braids. Um. Um. But I don't know. Like, like I said, uh, like human characters for Nintendo. That's all like, I can think of. Like, yeah. sometimes Zelda has like either blonde hair or brownish hair. Yeah. That's kind of like her primary hair color. Yeah, I feel like Nintendo doesn't have a whole lot of female characters. Like, I ideally female characters. Then, like I said, there's Crystal. She doesn't, but she doesn't really have hair. It's more, she's more she's, just offer. Yeah, it's offer. <laughs> yeah. Um, but. I don't know. That's I don't know. That's all you can think of. Like, I like Daisy. I like Luigi. Give them their own game, damn it. Daisy's um, top princess for me. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I mean, in the Mario world, she's top princess for me. I feel like she'd be my top princess because I feel like she's the underdog. Yeah. In the Nintendo <laughs> princess game. That people are very attracted to the underdog. Yeah. <laughs> and Daisy's my underdog. I love her, damn it. <laughs> That's a lot of people's arguments for Waluigi that he seems like an underdog, but it's like no. Luigi is no underdog. He, all right, like let's get this is straight. Doing. Yeah, like yeah, <laughs> underdogs do shit. All right, and Daisy has done shit, and so has Luigi. All Waluigi, no. All Waluigi's done is draw a mustache on a on a picture of Luigi. Oh I, my I, god. I I, I'm not even sure if it was a mustache. He's just drawing a picture of Luigi. What appearances has Waluigi even done in video games? Like, I can't even huh? think. Like, what exactly appearances has Waluigi made? What, how many appearances? You know, like, can you? Like, how many can you think of? He, he, other other than just party games, like yeah, yeah, he's just been in party games, sport, and sports games, and Mario Party. That's all I can think. That's of. That's all. Like, I. That's all I can think of. Like. If any of you can think of any other game other than multiplayer party games like that, and even like other, other than Mario Kart, if Waluigi has ever made any other appearances and say Super Mario Brothers or stuff like that, like big ones like that, let me know. I can't think of any. I think the oldest, the oldest game I could think of that Waluigi was in is Mario Party Three. I it's still a big old multiplayer Mario Party one, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah like, I mean, it's still Mario Party. But yeah. I think that's the oldest. Like, when they remade Super, uh, Super Mario 64 for the DS, mm -hmm. you could play as Yoshi, Luigi, Luigi Mario, and, and Wario. Wario. Yeah. See, because, like, Wario is more recognizable because they, they gave him, like I said, they gave Wario his own game, and yeah, he, he actually he, has... His games are called Wario. Right? Yeah, and he actually has his own... Granted, it's, like, Stupid farts or fart attacks or whatever, you know. But at <laughs> least that's the only thing you know him as, <laughs> right? Yeah. Like at least he has his own kind of style, I guess. You know, like why do people love Waluigi? Please tell me in the comments. He's like skinnier than Luigi. He's taller than Luigi. He just looks like a stick figure. <laughs> so what's next they're gonna do like a like a wild Luigi or war I, I don't even know what the hell they even call them like a, a doppelganger or counterpart for Peach or Daisy I heard like, that, that that was the original idea but they went with wild Luigi instead <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder how funny that would have looked if they actually gave him like the nose like for I don't know one of the princesses <laughs> Just, uh, an ugly princess. Like an, yeah, an ugly princess. You know, the nose. You know, like <laughs> is that like a thing that the does? Uh, I don't know. She doesn't have a mustache. <laughs> she has a unibrow. <laughs> okay, that's all I can take with that. 
Thank you so much for watching. That's all I got for now. Bye. <laughs>